Howdy everyone, it's Camille. I have some exciting announcements for you guys. But first of all, I'd like to say yes, I know the video is out of focus for most of this YouTube video. And I sincerely apologize about that, but I had no one to film me but my tripod. So this is just going to have to do for the purposes of this video. So by now, most of you are probably thinking, shut up about the video quality, and who the heck is this new Mustang? So this is Mustang Charlie. He is a three-year-old Mustang from Saltwells Creek, and he is one of my new client horses. So before you ask, no, I do not usually take client horses because I am a college student with a busy schedule but the circumstances were just right at this moment with all my classes getting moved online. I had the time to take on some client horses and a lady in town had two Mustangs that she wanted started under saddle. So like I said, this is Mustang Charlie. I've been working with him for the past 30 days getting him ready to be ridden. He was halter broke when I started working with him and now in this video was his third ride out of the round pin and he did really really good so stay tuned after the introduction to watch his ride Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed my new channel introduction. Let me know what you think of it. Um, like I said, the video quality is very poor and there was just nothing I could do about that. There's no one there to record me when I'm um, doing my job. It's just me. So um, the video quality does get better in a little bit because I filmed his ride in two different sections and the second one is much more clear. But what we were working on was um, backing up off of it and um, being light to steering. So that's what you see in the first few clips. And this is Mustang Rocky. He is Charlie's so-called brother, and he is my second client horse that I um, started working with just recently. So I've been working with Mustang Charlie for 30 days, and um, I am just now starting to work with Mustang Rocky. He is quite the character, Rocky. as you can tell. Rocky. So Mustang Charlie and Mustang Rocky were adopted by the same lady back in September of last year. She adopted them through the Mantle Wild Horse Ranch program, so they were already halter broke when she adopted them and since then she's been leading them, haltering them, loving on them, grooming them and now it's my turn to do all their groundwork, their riding prep and their first rides and getting them a good solid foundation under saddle. So a little bit more about Mustang Charlie. He's about, um, if I had to guess, about 14 to hands tall and he's a very laid back horse. He's more of a drafty type of Mustang. So he's very chill. He likes to sit still and be lazy. He would rather brace against pressure than react to it. And those are just some of the general traits of a more cold blooded horse. So the easiest parts of his training have been the desensitizing side of things. And the hardest parts of his training have been getting him to respond lightly to pressure. So what you see me working on are getting a good stop off seat where I flex him afterwards and work on his softness. You've also seen me working on getting a soft correct backup 
and now we are loping out in the field for the very first time and he gets the wrong lead sometimes that's okay i'm not gonna nitpick him about it because he's still learning to carry a rider and he'll learn on his own that catching the right lead is going to be much easier on him than catching the wrong one um, as you can see, he breaks gate there. He was trying to lean his shoulder out toward his buddies. I just pointed him back in the right direction and got him going again. So this right here, this stop he does, was a pretty good stop for a horse that's still learning how to do so under saddle. So I didn't necessarily flex him too much afterwards. I just patted him and rewarded him for being a good boy. And this right here is another very good stop. Um, so I just love on him and tell him he's a good boy. Like I said, he's pretty laid back, so stopping comes pretty naturally to him. He'd rather sit still and conserve his energy and put a lot of effort into moving. But I do work on getting that nice soft back up before I release. I'm still working on getting him softer to that pressure and a little bit quicker to move his feet. Another good takeaway from this video is that I am not trying to steer him on a very direct path or hang on his face to keep him going slow. I'm just kind of letting him figure out how to lope with a person on his back and kind of giving him the freedom to figure out how to do that himself because it's going to make him a more reliable partner in the future. Charlie did pretty great. This was his third ride outside of the round pin. Um, the first ride we just did some walking around this field area. The second ride we did mostly walking and a little bit of trotting and today we did a whole bunch of trotting and a little bit of loping. He's doing really really good. The only issue he's having today is he's wanting to lean towards his buddies which are over there at the other end of the pasture um, but every time I correct him he's doing a great job of coming back to me. Um, so that's just something that we'll work on more. Um, let him know that he can't get away with trying to head out toward his buddies. He hasn't been terrible about it, but he's definitely thinking about them when he comes over to this area. He's wanting to lean out that way, but he's doing a good job. Um, I'm really proud of this guy. He's come a long way, and um, I'm really excited to see where else I can take him. Make sure to subscribe. I will hopefully be posting some more videos of Charlie's training as he makes progress. Thanks for watching.